फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द प्लेंटिव रिस्पोंडेंट इट हैज बीन आर्ग्यूड दैट एज टू वट इज द रेट ऑफ रेंट ऑफ द अकोमोडेशन इज ए प्योर क्वेश्चन ऑफ फैक्ट एंड वंस द कोर्ट बिलो हैज रिटर्न अ फाइंडिंग ऑन द रेट ऑफ रेंट द रिविजनल कोर्ट ओट नोट टू इंटरफेयर विद द सेड फाइंडिंग इन एक्सरसाइज ऑफ इट्स रिविजनल पावर्स एंड देयर फोर द रिविजन इज लाइबल टू बी डिसमिस्ड नो डाउट एज टू वट वॉज द एग्रीड रेट ऑफ रेंट फॉर द प्रेमिस इन क्वेश्चन इज ए क्वेश्चन ऑफ फैक्ट बट ए फाइंडिंग ऑन ए क्वेश्चन ऑफ फैक्ट मस्ट बी रिटर्न बाय एप्रिशिएटिंग द एविडेंस that has been led by the parties and not by simply narrating what evidence has been led a finding returned after consideration of all relevant evidence on question of fact is not ordinarily to be interfered with by a revisional court unless the same is perverse or is based on taking inadmissible evidence into consideration or is based on misreading of evidence but for there to be a consideration of relevant evidence the evidence led must be appreciated by application of a judicial mind when both sides in a suit or proceeding lead their evidence the court is required to appreciate the evidence and thereafter to draw its conclusion on the issue essential feature of apprehension is the rationale behind accepting one evidence over the other that rationale must be reflected in the judgment order therefore the duty of a court of fact does not get over by disclosing as to what evidence has been led by the parties before it but is discharged when it returns a finding after appreciation analysis of the evidence a finding which has been returned without application of judicial mind or without analyzing the evidence as to why one evidence has more weight than the other or without considering the entire relevant evidence led before the court renders the finding vitiated in the instant case there was no documentary evidence either in the shape of a rent note or a rent agreement or a rent receipt as regards agreed rate of rent both sides had led oral evidence in support of their respective cases apart from oral evidence the defendant had placed the quinquennial municipal assessment record of 2003 to 9 to suggest that the annual value of the premises was rupees 11520 the basis of such annual assessment was brought on record through the statement of dw3 who was tax inspector nagar nigam as to why the evidence of the plaintiff was more acceptable as compared to the evidence of the defendant is not at all reflected from the order impugned moreover the testimony of dw4 and dw5 who have deposed in respect of the agreed rate of rent being rupees 500 per month has not been considered at all under the circumstances this court is of the view that the finding returned by the court below on issue number 1 that is 
एग्रीड रेट ऑफ रेंट ऑफ द प्रेमिस इन सूट इज विशिएटेड एंड देयर फोर द सेम रिक्वायर्स रिकन्सिडरेशन एज टू वट वेट इज टू बी अटैच टू द टेस्टिमनी ऑफ द प्लेंटिव एंड डिफेंडेंट विटनेसिस एज वेल एज टू द म्यूनिसिपल असेसमेंट रिकॉर्ड इज इन द डोमेन ऑफ द ट्रायल कोर्ट एंड देयर फोर दिस कोर्ट फाइंड्स इट एप्रोप्रिएट नोट टू एक्सप्रेस एनी ओपीनियन ऑन द मेरिट्स ऑफ द एविडेंस हाव एवर सिंस दिस कोर्ट इज ऑफ द व्यू दैट द फाइंडिंग ऑन द रेट ऑफ रेंट फॉर द प्रेमिस इन क्वेश्चन रिक्वायर्स रिकन्सिडरेशन द इम्प्यूड जजमेंट एंड डिक्री विच टर्न्स ऑन द क्रूशियल इशू एज टू वट वॉज द एग्रीड रेट ऑफ रेंट बिटवीन द पार्टीज डिजर्व्स टू बी सेट असाइड फॉर द रीजन्स रिकॉर्डिड हेयर इन अबव द रिविजन इज अलाउ द जजमेंट एंड डिक्री पास्ड बाय द कोर्ट बिलो इज हेयर बाय सेट असाइड द मैटर इज रिमांडिड बैक टू द कोर्ट बिलो to decide the case afresh in accordance with the law preferably within a period of 2 months from the date of filing of certified copy of this order there shall be no order as to cause stop